Hello, welcome back to Green Diamond Equipment. Today we're going to go over the new 3D series tractors. Uh, had this one home here now for a few days, been putting around with it. It's a good little tractor, um, very basic, great price point. So I'm going to go over some of the features and uh, see what you guys think of it. This particular model is a 3035D uh, with the 300E loader. Uh, we have a Reese uh, landscaper on the back here. I was using that to grade the driveway. Um, so 35 engine horsepower. This puts out right around 30 PTO horsepower. So with the geared transmission on these tractors, there's less power loss between the engine and PTO. So that's something to consider against the hydrostat. These are built on the same frame as the 3E tractors. Uh, they put the standard transmission in it to get the price point down, give a better option for some people who like the standard transmission. This is the only unit or units in the John Deere compact lineup that has standard transmissions until you get up into the 4 Series. Okay, we have the 300E loader, so it has the fixed mount onto the frame, so you don't have that quick touch. Um, on and off ability for these loaders. They do still come standard with your uh, quick hitch for your attachments on the front though. So these tractors do have the fold down rollover protection. Uh, you have your signal and marker lights on them. We have a toolbox here. We have our PTO engagement. Again, this is a clutched mechanical engagement for PTO. Uh, this is your range shift lever, so A, neutral, and B range, two ranges. We have our seat slide here. As we go down to the floorboards here, we have our four-wheel drive lever, uh, diagnostic port for onboard diagnostics, uh, your transmission fill cap, transmission dipstick right here. Okay, when we look at the dash here, so this is where the tractor is going to look a little bit different over the hydrostatic. We've got our forward neutral reverse shift lever up here. Signal lights on your toggle switch. Uh, this is your uh, emissions control DPF uh, on off auto. We have our menu selector here to scroll through our menu options on the uh, dashboard. Uh, light switch here, hazard lights, hazards and headlights, and then work light uh, mode if you have any additional work lights included. And this is your throttle control for your engine. Okay, we go to the front of the tractor. Um, so you use your key to get in under the hood, just pop it in to the slot there. While we have the hood open here, uh, you can see the coolant tank, radiator, oil cooler and batteries down there easy access if you need to attach any kind of cables to boost something else or the tractor uh, we have a quarter turn knob here to take your side panel off that just slides off out of there gives us good access for any kind of maintenance or work to the tractor uh, you see your DPF right here, so that's your emissions control. Okay, if we're looking on the right-hand side of the tractor, um, without taking that panel off I just took off, we can easily get at our fuel filter, oil filter, that's our water separator there. Uh, this is your fuel pump, uh, primer pump. Um, your dipstick is right up here, a yellow ring, and your oil fill is right here. If we go to the right side of the floorboards here, we have our split brakes. Uh, that enables you to brake one wheel over the other. We also have a throttle on the floor for your engine. So the 300E has the loader mounted SCV. Uh, so you get your lines coming up here and these are your loader lines and that controls your loader functions. Uh, this also has a loader function lock. So we pull that and now my uh, controls can't be used. 
This is our park brake engagement. So as you're depressing the brakes, pull up on that handle to lock the park brake on. Up to the seat here, we have our four range gear selector, our hitch control lever here, and this is the speed that controls how fast your hitch will go down. All right, if we take a look at the back, this particular model has the telescoping uh, draft links, your sway adjustments here, uh, that hooks for your top link when you don't have an attachment on it, and again, your PTO shaft right here, and a drawbar on this particular model. So in the past few years, uh, John Deere has moved their fuel tank from, I believe it used to be under the hood, um, to the back here where it's easily accessible. Um, nice big opening for it. And we also have a fuel gauge right here so you can always see how much fuel you have it in. Okay, so what I want to show you now is how this PTO is going to work. Um, again, you have to clutch to engage it. So that means as you're switching speeds, gears, ranges, when you clutch, that PTO is going to stop. Okay, so I shifted the A range here. I'm gonna put my PTO on. Release my clutch. And as you can see, the PTO starts spinning. When I put my clutch back in, the PTO stops. So I'm in neutral on the range, neutral on the gear shift, PTO on, it works. But I cannot get off the seat and the tractor stay running. Quick overview of the tractor. Um, it has its pros and cons just like everything else. Uh, I mean, the pros, it's simple, it's less expensive than the hydrostat, but the live PTO and the standard transmission are the cons. Um, you know, we're, we're going to match this to somebody depending on what they do. Uh, you have to consider that live PTO for brush cutting, snow blowing. When you're looking at this or the 3E tractor, you have to consider what you're doing with it. The hydrostat is nice for loader work, no, no shifting, uh, gears back and forth. So there's always a market for all the models John Deere comes out with. This is going to be a very popular tractor for those guys that want something simple with a standard transmission. Join us again. Doors off to play in the mud hole. Have a good day.